There you go, and there's you your Clefairy. And you said we wouldn't meet another one. I said you might have trouble. Well, okay. Super effective, but actually didn't do all that. Still didn't do all that. Stayed awake using its vital spirit. Sweet, I can't put you to sleep. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to do a regular attack. I don't want to kill it. Yeah. Definitely don't want to kill it. Oh god, so close. Thank god I was using growl on you. Well, I hit it before the growl. I think, I think it used another one on you after uh, the first time oh. I tried to put you to sleep didn't work. Good. Finally, a male Pokemon. And it's a Clefairy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, you have a Geo dude that's female and then a Clefairy that's male, so okay. Its adorable appearance, uh, its adorable appearance makes it popular as a pet. However, it is rare and difficult to find. Fairy Pokemon. Are you sure its type isn't fairy? Yes, because fairy type did not exist when this game came out. Okay. All right. You should name him the girliest character in FF7. What, Cloud? Oh, I was gonna say Vincent, but yeah, that works too. <laughs> Actually, I, I have, I, I was, I was naming some people after, I was doing, I was, I was, well, I, I was naming some people after, characters after people I'd uh, known and whatnot, and I just ran out of female names because we got so many female characters going in. So let's see here. This is. Maybe I should just give it, like, a gender-ambiguous name, like Dana or something. <laughs> Maybe. Ashley. Or something like, you know. Yeah, oh god. Something that's technically still unisex name, but, like, no men are actually named that. Nah, no, this is my friend, uh... Actually, he's, he's, he's been on the he's been he's, he's been on the channel. We did uh, join me for let's play FTL, and he was in first a few episodes of Bulletstorm. This is Dave. No implications about your masculinity intended. <laughs> you sure about that? I'm just kidding. That's terrible. He actually does some voice acting work, so giving him the singing. Oh, that's the voice, cool. The one, I, don't, does, I mean, he's not a singer, but the, the voice-based one kind of thing. Honestly, I would love to do something like that. I mean, I think that's super cool, but... Eh, I don't really feel I'm all that talented or even very confident enough to really put myself out there, so... Eh. It seems like a, yeah, it seems like it'd be a fascinating job, but I mean, I... I have a god-awful voice. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard worse, trust me. I mean, I, I kind of sound like like G-Man if from Half Life. He was if he was on like uppers and downers at the same time, and then you hit him in the mouth. Oh God! <laughs> Something tells me you thought that out with it being as oddly specific as it is. I have. That is. <laughs> We're taking turns draining each other and <laughs> accomplishing nothing. One of you will eventually crack. I just want this, this over with. Oh, and actually, now I can do, use that repel. There might be, and maybe there's another Pokemon type in here that I'll miss as a result of that, but I don't care anymore. Um, I really don't think so. I'm pretty sure you've encountered everything that you can encounter in there. Oh, damn it! I'm just gonna leech seed him and then. Oh, he is poison type, so poison powder is probably not gonna help. Yeah, it's probably not the best idea. <laughs> He's gonna drain me, and then I'm just gonna counter drain, him, and then I'm gonna leech him. The eternal cycle. <laughs> like, 
Like, these two Pokémon form, like, an entire ecosystem unto themselves now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Nice. That's more like it. Astonish. Like, it's just like a magic... It does a magic trick or something. Astonish! <laughs> yes, it's like you just imagine the other Pokemon just going, Ooh! <laughs> or just... Or it just... It, or it just, like, reads, like, interesting, like, facts from Ripley's Believe It or Not. Oh, Jesus. You know, this French guy once, like, survived, like, immersed in water with no air for eight minutes? Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that reminds me of this new story that I read a couple weeks ago with my sister when she was visiting. Um, oh, this is We got our fighting type ready to go. Th this, al go this Australian guy, okay, so he got attacked by a shark, and the shark bit his leg off. Well, he he took his severed leg and beat the shark to death with it. I was, I was, I was about to say that as a joke, but he actually did that. Oh, God. That's awesome. Yeah. Yep, just... Wow. How do you have balls big enough that, you know... <laughs> Remember those... You're not even freaking out about losing your leg. You're just immediately picking that shit up and beating it to death with it. Remember a few years ago, there was some... Some guy in Africa somewhere. He saved... This kid was being attacked by a tiger. Oh, God, what? And, and he decided, you, you know, to pick a fight with this tiger to protect the kid. And he killed it by, like... It was, like... It, like, bell it like roared at him, right? He shoved its, his mouth, his head into its mouth, bit its tongue off, and it bled to death. Oh my god, what? I, I, it's insane, yeah. What the... what? He bit its tongue off. How do you even think to do that? Well, you know, that's... That's why he's a badass who kills lions with his bare hands and we're not. You yeah, know? no kidding. <laughs> Jesus. Did, well, I think he didn't even he didn't even eat his hands. No, no, he didn't. Man, that's really crazy. He li he literally could have killed it with his hands tied behind his back, I guess. There's also a woman in this woman in Mexico a while back who performed her own cesarean. Oh Jesus, God, ew. She was like she went into premature labor, like what, like like in like some rural area, real far away from a hospital. Oh my God. It worked. She survived. The kid survived. Wow, that's crazy. Uh oh We, Team Rocket, shall find the fossils! Reviving Pokemon from them will earn us huge riches. Reviving Pokemon from them. Yep. Oh, you have mentioned that, that that is a thing. Ratata. Ratata. Let's see. Go for the balls. Yes. That just lowers defense. You Zubat. Bell is confused and paralyzed. Oh no. I'll use confusion. What does confusion? What does confuse the status thing do? Um, it makes you that you have a you have a random chance of when you go to try to attack or do anything, you hurt yourself instead. Okay. All right. So it's like status. Yeah. So it's like confusion status in most RPGs. Although most RPGs, it makes more sense because like it, there's a party and you get confused and attack other people. Yeah. Like it's like confusion. Like you just like start hitting yourself in the face or whatever. It's a bit kind of a goofier image. Also, whenever I see Zubats, I just think Zubaz. You know, like the pants. Yeah. God. Fucking Zubaz. You make me mad. Team Rocket will blacklist you. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> now I can't join Team Rocket. 
I was gonna say maybe I should use that repel now, but I'm wondering if we're almost at the end. Uh, you might be. You might want to. Yeah, I, I would say use it either way, so that way you're not using your attack skills on. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna take them from you. Well, he's kind of got them laying out in the middle of the path, so you'd have to at least like kick one to the side to move <laughs> on. Super nerd Miguel would like to battle. Grimer, that's a new one. That is a poison type. You are going to probably want to confusion that, actually. I mean, you can you can try to you can try to fighting type him, but it may not be the best idea. That is also probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh well. El knew the risks. <laughs> it's true. She's fine. Definitely first. not going to go first, though. Well, no, she's not. Never mind. Oh well. If not paralyzed, then possibly would have been fine. Of course, you could always like throw, you could always throw a uh, low-level guy out there just to waste a turn so you can use a revive. That's if you want to, of course. Let's see if we can life us. Critical hit. Not very effective. Yikes. I got I got one on a critical. Oh, oh. God. Let's try astonishing him. He looks easily impressed. <laughs> no, oh, I guess not. Oh, he flinched. Yeah, but it's not going to happen again. Bringing out the big guns. Uh, that might not be good either because he's grass type and grass type's weak to poison. Disable. Failed. I'm going to try leech seeding him. You could definitely do that, yeah. Disable. Oh no! Leech Seed was disabled! Well, that just means you can't use it again in this battle. Oh! But, yeah, I mean, you've already used it, so... Yeah. Too late for you, then. Indeed. Harden. I'm just gonna lame it out. I'm gonna. Let me see here. You could definitely lame it out. Le is, is Leer the one that. Or is it Growl that lowers his attack? Yeah, Growl lowers attack. I can do that and let. Let the life be slowly drained from him into myself. <laughs> How does a bird growl, by the way? I'm not sure. Oh! Critical hit! Damn! No. Ouch! Was a grueling Voltorb. What's Ooh, he got? That that is an electric type. You might want to put your bird away. Okay. Cory would be fine though. 